A local lumber company put up an electric fence to keep out thieves and vandals who kept breaking in. But now the city of St. Petersburg may force them to pull the plug. It's a story that made us wonder, would you be okay with an electric fence in your neighborhood? After vandals broke into Tibbetts Lumber in St. Petersburg and caused $40,000 in damage to the AC system, management had had enough. They leased an electric fence to surround the property, hoping some voltage would jolt intruders into changing their plans. Only one problem. They put a fence in um, without a permit. Uh, it's, it's illegal. St. Pete City Councilman Carl Nurse opposes changing the law to allow electrified fencing in industrial areas, something Tibbetts Lumber asked the full council to do on Thursday. Nurse says the fence is in a bad location right alongside the popular Pinellas Trail and Gibbs High School. One St. Petersburg resident told us it made him nervous. Well, guard dogs I could deal with, but the, the fence itself, I, I just don't like it in our city. So what does it feel like to touch one of these things? Sorry to disappoint you, but I won't be doing a demonstration. I will tell you that the company describes the experience as safe but memorable. <laughs> YouTube is full of videos showing mostly young people touching electric fences as a game. The fence surrounding Tibbetts Lumber set a few inches behind a regular chain link fence, which the company president says makes it safe. In order to touch it, you actually have to have a very small hand and get through the chain link fence to go grab it. But Councilmember Nurse thinks a conventional barrier should be enough to protect any property in the city. If a 10-foot fence and barbed wire doesn't, doesn't, doesn't solve the problem, then I think we, uh, you know, we have a police department that we need to engage more act actively in that. Well, it turns out the city of St. Petersburg kind of violates their own law. They have an electric fence that surrounds a water pumping station. Councilman Nurse says that was the result of Homeland Security requirements after the 9-11 attacks.